a real churro. Please like, share, and subscribe. For uh, more churros. Uh, for more chur churros of you. For more content of me eating. I got you. Hold up. Hold up. Exclusive content right here. This is real. That's the thumbnail right there. That's the thumbnail. Pie. That's the thumbnail. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that's the thumbnail right there. You're going to get mad views off of that. Thunderous. <laughs> love it. You love it. You love it. Hello. This is Thunder Rosa again reporting from New York City Con. And I'm here with... Liza. <laughs> Liza. Look at Liza. Look, look at her. Look at her smile. Look at her smile. She is so nervous to meet me. It just feels good, by the way. Thank you. Oh, you smell good. I'm a Mexican fan, and I'm like, I'm Mexican too, so. Fuck yeah, arriba Mexico, puto! Where part of Mexico are you from? Oh, Puebla. Tocingo. Tocingo? Yeah, Puebla. What you doing in New York? This where you live? Yeah, I was born and raised in New York. So, Mexi Rick, no. How old you say Mexi New York? Well, she's from Puebla. She was born here and she's here taking a picture with Thunder. What are you coming for? Are you taking a picture? What are we doing today? We're like. Picture and autograph. Yeah. Picture autograph. You see that guy over there? He's like wearing the same thing that I'm wearing. Yeah, I see. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Layla, am I right? He saw my look. And, and Garcia owes me a dance. He owes me a dance. Oh, boy, yes, the dance. Can I choke him when he can do a dance? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the wife. Wife, how do you feel about coming here for the second time in two years, right? She's camera shy. She's camera shy. All right. Okay, tell, well, tell everybody what they, call you, what they call you again. The Latina Slayer, baby. Latina Slayer. Born and raised. Right here, my wife. <laughs> so you just like one Latina? I like them all, but only one captured my heart. <laughs> She's so fucking yeah. hit with a <laughs> Oh my god. Can we get a little kiss, Mr. Slayer? Oh, que vive el amor, perros. <laughs> all right, Latino Slayer, what was the, the 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 phrase that you used to get this beautiful Puerto Rican woman? Uh, I went over to her house one day and her mom made uh, some banin and uh, arroz con pollos mm -hmm. and I did. It was a weight of my heart. That's it. You can so tell. Your, your up? That's right, baby. You can tell. Look at me. I ain't embarrassed. Latina Slayer eating that pollito con arroz. De arroz. Arroz. Ah, she can roll. She's hard. Yeah. He's <laughs> real. Wow. I don't play around. Perro. Say perro. Perro. Uh, perro carri. You know me. I'm a... <laughs> Oh. Hey guys, so I just got introduced to it's Danny Cortez. Danny right? Cortez. Puerto, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. But he has some of the dopest art. You know, I'm into art. You guys know that. So you do it every day in my face. But this <laughs> is amazing. This is like miniature art and it's like replicas of places that either exist, they still exist, or doesn't exist. And he was showing me his uh, Instagram. Oh, let, me see, let me see his mailbox. Give us mailbox right here. Tell us more about where this came from and how. Oh man! Were well, you a graffiti artist from a young age? I'm always a fan of graffiti family. Well, it was always a, around. Oh, you were a nephew. Well, no more of a vandal. <laughs> I was gonna say he was a, he was nephew out there when he was a teenager, but then. What, what came out? What well, came out? I was going through so much during the pandemic. You know, I, I was in the middle of a divorce. I was fighting a case. I uh, lost everything back at mom's house. Bored. Now we're in a pandemic. And I was just bored out of my mind. Now all the depression and everything is getting to me. I had these tools, but I never you know, took it serious, you know? So yeah. it's like the pandemic was like a time for me that there was no excuse to yeah. work on a craft. So, you know, with working on the craft, I was just, I felt good about myself. It was like therapy. So instead of thinking about the money, it would just work out of love. And all of a sudden, one post changed my life on Instagram. So I heard that you've been uh, featuring, yeah, we're sick. CQ? Uh, oh, oh, um, a bunch of magazines. Uh, that I want to maybe show New York Times the biggest article right now, which I my story. Check it out. Put Danny Cortez and just type in New York Times and read my story. It's very inspirational. I'm just trying to inspire, and it's never too late. You know? Okay, I was gonna ask you that question. How old were you when all this was happening? Oh, 30, 39. 
Okay, for all of you emotional, yeah. they're like, oh my god, I'm too old to start. Exactly. Like, no. Bro. No. I'm, I'm in the middle of divorce proof. with a bunch of problems. He like saw an opportunity. This is an opportunity. Yeah. This right here is an opportunity to make a change for his life. Yeah. If you something that it give you uh, pleasure and it give you something, you made it into art, and it just took one thing to spark That's the it. change. That's and it. Then, you're like super now, now it's our in, in auction houses collectors from all over the world. I travel to LA to use. I'm on tour right now for my art. Uh, Sotheby's, which is one of the biggest auction houses in the world, and and I'm just happy. It's because God's time is so perfect. Yes, that, you know it's it's it has to be that way. So yeah, I just been blessed. So what is one thing you want to still accomplish? Because I mean, in this like little time, three years, pretty much. You've accomplished a lot. What is one thing you still need to talk about? Oh, so, so now, now I'm doing movie set designs, right? So now I want to take it to Hollywood now. Now, you know, I want to, I, I can't wait to see one of my miniatures get blown up in a movie, <laughs> you know, or something, yes. or, or, or trick the eye to, you know, mimic a scene. So a lot of my fans are like males and some of them are females. What would you take, say to all the males out there that are probably like in the, like, at the edge of making a difference? Like what, what would you tell them? I would tell them, Never give up. Do what you what, what what your heart says. Never think about the about the money before your passion, because then the passion won't mean anything. So, you work from the heart. I guarantee you, it's gonna work out. It's never too late when your back is against the wall. Yep. Never give up. You know, never give up. God's time is so perfect. He doesn't make any mistakes. Just stay focused. That's just life. That's all. Thank you. Everybody saying. L A night. Yeah. You make the first move. Oh, finally! Finally, I get to see the L. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 oh. What is it? Oh, I got stroke. All right, I'm here with I'm here with Victor. Victor just told me a story that I don't remember because I had so many things. But tell him what you did in Cameo. So the moment that Thunder Rosa went on to Cameo, I was the first person to book her, and she got to me like within the same like couple of hours. That's when I used to do the Cameo sometime. But Victor, thank you so much for. You know, starting that journey for me and the fact that you're here taking a picture and stuff it means a lot, you know? So you've been, well, that was like probably 2019, right? Yeah. It's been a couple of years, so he's, uh, you know, fell, uh, fell fan the Tanda Rosa, and that's what matters. So, thank you. How are you? Hello, hello. Okay, guys, Layla has been working out so much. That probably when I met you was what's it like? Twenty twenty, like twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one, two years. Ahorita su cuerpo está fire, espectacular. She's like eating I'm, right. I'm hiding it under all this today. No, but she looks amazing. He just asked me to cosplay as his girlfriend. What? Didn't you ask me to cosplay as your girlfriend? Last one. Cosplay as your girlfriend. You don't need to cosplay. You're the real thing, right? Like, am I your girlfriend? Is that what you're telling me? That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh. <laughs> no. I don't know. You never asked me, like, really. The only thing in between us right now is Layla Gray and some opportunity. He's cutting a promo on me, huh? <laughs> what we were saying. I was going to get in the way. I wasn't recording because I'm a dumbass, but. Hi, guys. He's famous. Can everybody hear Russell? Yeah. Check us out. I'm going Just take it. You want to count it? That, that take a hit, I feel it. Yo, all right, I got a question. Does taking bumps get easier? No. no. <laughs> he's just, he's start, just starting to wrestle. He's very injured now. <laughs> and you see, he, doing he's it. like training with, hey, with RCW. Huh? You're training RCW, right? Okay. With uh, Booker King. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're training? Oh uh, yeah, I'm training. Right now. He's training, bro. Uh, 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 with Booker King? With Booker uh, and Houston. 
Reality? Yes, the reality arrest. The reality arrest. Come to book me. I want to wrestle there. <laughs> yeah. So I was just saying that you look fucking amazing. Hey, best of luck, that um, best of luck. that she's taking bookings, right? I am taking bookings, guys. Hit me up. If you want me on your show. No, she's a baddie. Yeah, she's a baddie. She's a real baddie. <laughs> you better put something nice. Daddy. <laughs> All right, I'm totally Tommy can out of this. I think I spent a little bit too much money on this too. I'm still looking at things. Bye, oh, bye. You can always be polite, no matter how tired you are. I'm gonna go and catch something to eat. I gotta be at my hotel before 8 p.m. because I have class. I honestly cannot tell you if I'm gonna make it or not. I'm super tired. My backpack is super heavy. I didn't even get to go downstairs. Like, that's how crazy it has been. Hello! Thank you. He likes my outfit, actually. Bye! Miren a quien tengo aquí conmigo, al preferido del preferido del mundo mundial, Álvaro Rioja. Hey, we haven't, we haven't started the show, so no empiecen con sus mamadas de que, oh, there's no people in the back. Yes, there's no people, the show hasn't started. Ah, todavía no meten a la gente, espérense, tranquilos, cállense. Sí, we have, we're, well, he has the notes. Mándame la nota. Deja ver cómo. Por favor. Aquí. We're preparing for the show. Uh, we're getting ready for the show. He, we are here in beautiful Toledo, Ohio, and it's like 40 degrees. Frío. Frío. Yeah, man. It's, 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 it's bad. I'm, Sounds I'm like these, que extraño el calor de, de mi casa, <laughs> el calor de mi, de mi esposa, el calor oh, de okay. mi querido. Okay. I'm trying to get a little romantic here, but I'm... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is 5.30 a.m. I've been driving for an hour and a half. I'm going to Houston, Texas uh, to catch a flight to Mexico City. Uh, yeah, I've had my coffee. So of course, I stopped at Bucky's. You know, there was a thing at Bucky's. I guess the owner, the son's owner got arrested for putting... Um, video cameras at the bathrooms so he probably saw all my junk which never mind <laughs> this one is a very busy week and i am really worried as i told you guys drago got really effed up yesterday and i had to take him to the vet uh, yeah, some of you know my, my doggies don't get along very well, and yesterday was not a good day, so um, I'm dealing with that, and I couldn't cancel this trip. I feel terribly guilty. I didn't sleep very much. He was crying a lot in pain. Um, just feel so terrible, but I, and I can just take care of him and Jeremiah, too, so hopefully everything goes well, but it's going to be an interesting week, and it's going to be an interesting week for you guys on the vlog. Because there's a lot of cool things happening, and just want to give you a little tease, but I'm just going to keep going and driving because I have a long way to go still. We're almost there. It's 7, 14, 10 minutes. Did a really good time. There was a gnarly accident on 10. Yeah. Hola amigos, ya llegué aquí a la Ciudad de México Bueno, llegué como a las 10 de la mañana Pero hemos estado atorados en tráfico Por siempre y para siempre Y por lo siempre de los siempre es amén Pero aquí estoy eh, ¿qué, es, ¿Qué ciudad estoy? No, ciudad es no, estamos en Colombia. Colonia Arenal y estamos con 
Leonardo lo dije, Enigma Pro. Enigma Pro, él es un este, mascarero, es, este, hace equipos. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice en español? Uh, Seccionar. <risa> eso, eso, eso. Confecciono equipos y máscaras de lucha libre profesionales. ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes trabajando ya haciendo esto? Haciendo esto, ya voy como para siete años. ¿Siete años? ¿Tú has luchado antes? No. No, qué? pero me gusta la lucha libre desde niño. Uh -huh. Me apasionaba mucho lo que es la máscara de la parca. Uh -huh. Es una de mis favoritas. Y posteriormente cuando debutó el místico, pues como que me apasionó mucho más eso. Uh -huh. Yo estudié diseño industrial y a partir de ahí este fue que en un proyecto uh -huh. este, empecé con esto de las máscaras. ¿Cuánto tardas en hacer un equipo? Que no esté así muy complicado. Un equipo sencillo. Pues lo hago en un día, a lo mejor como en unas dos horas. Que a lo mejor nada más tenga a lo mejor unas letras, digamos, en la pierna. Ajá. En unas dos horas ya. ¿Cuánto te tardas en el patrón y todo eso? Bueno, ya desde estar trazando, porque como yo corto a medio de una cortadora al hacer, ah. tengo que estar trazando en mi computadora, estar haciendo los diseños de la computadora y de ahí ya se manda a la cortadora al hacer. Ah, bueno, eso es, nada me la sabía, pero pues ya te corto un montón de tiempo. Este, pues estoy muy emocionada de estar aquí, ya tomo mis medidas, este, pues va a estar interesante este nuevo equipo y este, pues ya van a ver, ¿tienes este, donde te sigan en las redes sociales? Sí, por Instagram, TikTok y Facebook, eh, nos encuentran como Enigma Pro. Enigma Pro, at Enigma Pro, arroba Enigma Pro, pues muchas gracias y en unas semanas van a ver el resultado. morning it's 7 a.m. I have four interviews today I slept six and a half hours and I have to wake up early because I have to work out so this is the outside of New Mexico City Tiene lavaderos? Ah, I've seen lavaderos in a long time so uh, I'm in Colonia Roma and this is the gym this we gotta do it uh, I might go outside and run for a little bit because I like to run outside on every city that I go to. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have a good 45 minute workout. What time is it? I have to be ready by 7.15. So whatever it is, I got to do it quick and um, effectively. And this face is tired because I had three hours of sleep yesterday and it was intense. It's a... Uh, Things that are going to happen for 2024 and 2025 are going to be very important for me to cement me as a brand, a bigger brand. Uh, we have a big vision and we want to make it happen. So, uh, and, but we can't make it happen without your support. So I just know that. And I'm going to get ready because I need to stay ready for this ring. <sighs> Estamos en la Ciudad de México. Ahora sí, ya dormí seis horas, gracias a Dios. Ayer dormí. I slept three hours and a half, if so. And it was a long, long day. Uh, but I worked out. I went for a run. I only run an, a mile and a half because of the altitude was incredibly crazy. So tomorrow I'm going to run too. But uh, we got my coffee and my breakfast, which was It was delicious. great, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. it was really Very good. Very healthy. Yeah. 
very good and it seems like I'm losing weight so my abs came back and say hi to me if you don't want to Melissa you got abs I was like yes so now it's all what we're gonna be promoting cancer awareness month and all lucha libre related items so we're gonna get started hey, Christian Moya conductor aquí en eh, la octava sports y especialista, tratamos de ser especialistas en la lucha libre, el mundo del wrestling especialistas con programas cosillas, ¿eh? por... especialista yo también soy sí, especialista no, porque el especialista es el que se sube al ring el luchador <risa> eso, eso para mí hay que tenerle un respeto porque yo no aguantaría ni siquiera un entrenamiento de lucha libre, nice de wrestling entonces por eso yo digo especialista porque ¿y si aguantas un ragatazo? Eh, lo aguanto <risa> pero por lo mismo, no lo hagas, la, gente, la gente que lo hace es los, los que están arriba del ring. Entonces, por eso yo digo que respeto mucho esa parte siempre. Sí. Second interview of the day, I'm here in public, public, public metro, no puedo hablar ya, I can't talk, like it's, he just interviewed me for about, I don't know, 35 minutes, very great interview, este, ¿Cuál es su nombre? Y dile, ¿qué haces aquí? Iván Navarro, reportero de deportes de Publimetro. ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes trabajando aquí ya? Cuatro años, cuatro años ya. Entonces, él dijo que es este, especialista en la lucha libre. ¿En qué te especializas? Lucha libre mexicana, pero también sabemos lucha libre estadounidense, wrestling, eh, lucha libre en Japón, Inglaterra, de todo. Ahora sí. La pregunta del año, antes te la pongo. A ver. ¿Te pones a leer Dirt Sheets? Estamos investigando, vemos, siempre, siempre estamos viendo de todo, sean en en los eventos a las 3 de la mañana, sean los eventos a las 10 de la noche, sean aquí en la oficina, en la fiesta, estamos viendo de todo, sin problema. ¿A cuál estás suscrito? Ah, tenemos varias suscripciones. <risa> Muchísimas gracias a ti. Redes sociales, por favor. Oh, sí. Redes sociales, eh, Iván Satkiel 560 en Instagram y Iván Navarro 1006 en Twitter. Muchas gracias. Listen, guys, we're in La Condesa. As you can see, this is a very uh, affluent, affluent place. I was like, we're in el barrio de La Condesa. It's not a barrio. Not, uh, nope. definitely not. We're going to El Morro. Oh, it's El Morro, la churrería. So there's two. There's one in downtown and then this one. This one is since 1935. If you ever come to Mexico City, this, not necessarily this one, the more traditional one is by El Zócalo. But this is a place to come and eat churros. When I come to, when I come to Mexico City, I have to eat churros. I don't care if I'm on a diet. Churros are coming through my mouth, my mouth and going through somewhere else. Churros. Churros. También buenos estos churros. Estos sí son churros. No, es de Estos sí son churros. It's a real churro. Please like, share and subscribe. For more churros. For more chur churros of you. For more content of me eating. Subscribe. <laughs> Last interview of the day is in Universal, El Gran Diario de México. Bueno, aquí lo tengo en mi sala del Universal. <laughs> Me acabo de entrevistar en este momento. Introducete a mis queridos youtubers. ¿Qué tal amigos? Arturo Sanguino del periódico El Universal. No se pierdan la entrevista que, que tenemos con Tony del Rosa. Nos habló de todo y eh, una gran luchadora que está poniendo el nombre no solamente de, de México, sino de todo Latinoamérica en alto y además que lucha justamente contra varias causas, porque la lucha más importante está abajo del ring y no arriba. Así es. ¿Y tú eres, eres especialista en la lucha libre? Me gusta mucho la lucha libre. ¿Cuál es tu luchador favorito? Místico. Místico, o sea que me estás diciendo que vas a ver la lucha este viernes es en correcto. Rampage. Es correcto, llega Místico otra vez al mercado de Estados Unidos, sí. tras su paso en la otra empresa. Uh -huh. Veamos cómo le va. Ya causó mucha emoción cuando la primera ocasión que llegó allá como sin cara. Uh -huh. Y ahora veamos cómo, cómo le va, porque ahora sí porta el personaje que trascendió en México, que es un ícono de la lucha libre mexicana uh -huh. y que lo está poniendo en más. Si tú pudieras ser luchador, ¿cuál sería tu nombre? Híjola, muy buena pregunta. No sé, ahí sí. Tendría que pensarle, pero 
algún payaso. ¿Payaso? Un payaso, algún payaso. payaso de rueda, ¿no? no, 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 algo, algo que tenga que ver con, con los payasos. Interesante. Oye, Dime. le, le estás la pregunta que le hago a todos, los, a todos los journalists, a todos los periodistas de aquí. ¿Ya estás suscrito a algún Dirty? ¡Ay, sí! ¡Sí, sí, sí! No, no, no estoy suscrito aquí. Ay, ay. Pero ahí está en el Twitter. Ahí, de, ¿Cuáles son tus redes sociales? Arroba en Twitter y en Instagram, arroba Arturo Sanguino G. Así nos encontramos en, en Instagram y en Twitter. Ok, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, we are at the original, the one and only Arena Mexico. We have a very um, interesting take. This is my third or fourth time in Arena Mexico. No, oh, more than fourth. Oh, my sixth time. But now I come as, you know, as, as press. It's, it's really cool. We're here to uh, interview Stephanie Vacke. And as you guys can see, it's completely empty and we get to see like the behind the scenes of everything, which not everybody gets to do that, which I'm really excited about. So, they're working on the ring, or that, they're doing on the interviews, and then as you can see, you can see everything. ¿Cuánta gente le cabe aquí? Aproximadamente 12.000 personas. There's uh, approximately 12,000 people that can be here at one good night, and uh, we are, it's, it's pretty cool, like coming here and en seeing the arena. A ver, otra pregunta. Uh, ¿Tu familia va a venir a verte eh, sí. la semana que viene, verdad? Dile a nuestros fans uh, eh, si, la historia de cómo es que tu familia todavía no te ha visto luchar. En Chile no, pues no hay cultura de lucha como aquí en México, entonces no hay profesional. Nunca han visto lucha en vivo. Eh, yo llevo ya 10 años aquí en México, pero por el ritmo de trabajo y por el trabajo de ellos también, no han podido viajar. Y ya después de todo este año, eh, juntando y, y, y programándonos, ya van a venir la otra semana uh -huh. y me van a ver luchar en vivo aquí en la Arena México. ¿Quién tú quieres enfrentarte de cualquier compañía, así Magic Booking o, o este Special Booking? No importa que esté retirada. No importa. Mariko Yoshida. Ah, Ella vale. es mi... Bueno, hablo de las retiradas, de las sí. que llevan tiempo. De las actuales yo creo que... Perhaps. Mira, no puedo ir muy lejos, aquí tengo una grande y pues me encantaría que tu regreso fuera. Ay, mira, mira, calent calentando las cosas bien rico, eh. Mariko Yoshida es one who's a retire and she just said, she just said that she would like to wrestle me as soon as I return here probably in Arena México. So if you guys want to see that, you better put that on Twitter or X, whatever, Instagram. Tag us, whatever. Uh, make sure you watch the Taco Vlog. Make sure you support her on her social media. ¿Cuáles tus redes sociales? Stephanie Baker en Instagram, Stephanie Baker en Facebook y Steph-Baker en Twitter. So you guys got it right there. She, all this information is going to be in the Taco Vlog. Make sure you pay attention to what we have. Make sure you also uh, watch and subscribe to Patreon if you haven't done so. All the ex special, very special pictures and videos are there. And ¿Te gusta mover las nalgas? <laughs> no sé. <laughs> She doesn't no like to move her her her. She doesn't do that. No sé ni bailar. Leave, leave that for me because I can barely <laughs> do that. But okay, I'll see you guys later because we have another interview going. Bye.